Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to talk to you tonight about virtual postpartum doula services and why you need to be offering them to your clients, um, adding it to your list of offerings um, because it ha it's so important right now. So I want to just have you guys say hi as you come in, especially someone over in Facebook. I just want to make sure this is working. If you just comment, say hi, tell me where you are tuning in from and tell me um, if you are offering virtual services. Um, the comments is also where you can ask me questions and I will try to get to as many questions as I can as they come in. <clears throat> So, one second. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I just lost it. One second. Okay. So, why should you be offering um, virtual postpartum doula support? Um, first of all, it's necessary. I hate to say it and I hate to be like a doomsday person, but um, coronavirus is not going away anytime soon. The Delta variant is here, the other variants are coming. Um, I just was reading an article of today about how coronavirus is like the new flu. There's just gonna be a new one every year. It's just something that we have to live with. So, as a business owner, you need, this is a time when you would need to pivot, not pivot, but just adjust. So adding a virtual option for your clients is how your business is going to continue to grow and more importantly, continue to serve. Um, there are going to be clients from now on who are only comfortable with virtual support. Like they're just not gonna be comfortable having you come into their home. So having an option for them is going to be so important. So great, thank you everybody. Hi Marie, already offering virtual. Great. I see Melanie and Betsy. Awesome. Nolene and Trish. Everybody. Great. Awesome. Yay. It's working. I love when the technology works. So <clears throat> in addition to the importance of continuing to serve families right now be, through COVID and, you know, for everywhere, uh, for every time, um, you know, the trauma that these families <laughs> have faced that we've all faced living through a global pandemic you know there's a global pandemic being going on but babies are still being born right and these families still deserve support so we need to be finding ways to continue to serve continue to support them the other thing is that has kind of been um a pleasant surprise to me as I started offering virtual do postpartum doula support last year. It's an option for families that previously couldn't afford me. You know, um, as much as I want to work for everybody, I have to pay my bills. So, you know, I have my rates, I have, and it, it is a certain clientele that it can afford in person, you know, four hour postpartum doula shifts, eight hour overnight postpartum doula shifts. Um, and there was, you know, I, I would obviously do pro bono work and all that, but you know, there's other families that having a more affordable virtual option is such a great way to go. Um, so that's been nice too. You know, they can, you can book a one at one, you know, a one-time virtual consult for a fraction of what it would cost for a four hour in-person session and those parents are still getting the support and their questions answered and all that. So I want to just start off by saying <laughs> that a year and a half ago, last March, as the world was starting to shut down, you know, our governor here in New Hampshire, along with every other state, you know, started the, oh, two weeks to flatten the curve. And I was like, well, I guess I'll just, I'm going to take two weeks off. I can't you know, if I, if I can't go out, I can't work. Um, and then, but, and I, you know, I saw other people talking about doing virtual postpartum doula support. And I was like, well, what the, I mean, where's the value in that? Like my service is all about holding the baby so mom can go nap and folding the laundry and just being hands-on support. 
Um, so I just thought, you know, how the heck do you do this virtually? But I did have, I, at the time, I had three families that I was working with. I had already started. The babies were born in, you know, January and February. Um, so they had contracts to finish up. So I just thought, well, let's, you know, one was having some breastfeeding issues and, you know, gassy, fussy baby issues. So I said, well, let's just hop on a Zoom call or FaceTime. I can't remember what we did. And so I just started to, just so that I would continue to get paid, you know, they had already paid me. I didn't want to re refund them. So I was like, let's um, try some virtual sessions. And you know what? They ended up being awesome. <laughs> And I was so pleasantly surprised at how great it was and how valuable it was to the moms that I was dealing with. Um, and so that's when I was like, well, hey, there's something to this. I'm going to keep, uh, well, and then of course, two weeks turned into a year and a half. Um, <laughs> and so I was like, I'm going to just keep doing this. Um, so, and it has been great it i have to say it really had you know for a while there that's i was doing a hundred percent virtual um and then slowly kind of over the summer went back to some in person some virtual and that's the thing um you know i always say to my clients with breastfeeding like we sometimes you think breastfeeding's all or nothing but you can do a hybrid you can do you know breastfeed half the time and bottle feed the other half of the time or whatever. Same with virtual services. You can do whatever you want. You can work with some families in person that are open to it and then offer virtual postpartum doula support to the families who aren't. Um, and that's a one a thing I started to come up against as we opened up last summer and you know two summers ago, um, there were, before there were vaccines, there was, um, you know, I had some families that were like, we're okay with you coming in if you wear a mask, but we'd love to have you, you know, only work with our families. They didn't want me like going to different houses and that, you know, coming to them. You know, typically I work with a couple of families at a time. So I was like, oh, all right. That made me really think about, well, that's, that's not sustainable for me as a business owner. Because um, again, I usually work an average of like, eight to 12 hours a week per family because I only do a couple daytime sessions. So I couldn't work for 12 hours a week and then um, stick to my commitment to not go to any other family's house. But I could if I was working with one family in person and I adjusted my contract, like I don't normally do this, but I had them commit to a certain number of hours, <clears throat> which they were happy to do, you know, when I explained it like this. You know, if I'm going to commit to not working with anybody else, you have to commit to a certain level of service. And then I was able to um, supplement that, sorry, I couldn't think of the word, supplement that with some virtual postpartum doula support, which was great because that allowed me to continue to bring in income while I was only serving one family in person. Um, and that's the thing that as the year went on and I started to really think and talk to other doulas about how they are doing things. Um, <clears throat> and oh, sorry. Oh, gosh, I'm seeing. Sorry. A lot of comments just came in. Um, <clears throat> this is so great. You know, if you're a mom with little kids or you're juggling another job and you're just starting to get into postpartum doula work, you know, you can start out by just a few time blocks a week where you're doing virtual postpartum doula support or you know you can schedule your sessions around your kids naps or bedtime or when your partner is home things like that so it really kind of gives you a lot of freedom so it's another great thing you know moving forward you can you know, as a mom, work around your kids' school schedules and soccer games. And I mean, you can do that. That's, I always say that's one of the greatest things about owning your own business as a postpartum doula. I know birth doulas can't really do this, but as a postpartum doula, you can schedule so you make it to your kid's soccer game, you see their concert. Um, but again, that's a little harder because you're dealing with like four or five or six hour, eight hour shifts. Um, so, 
you know, it, I'd always have days where like my, one kid had a dentist appointment at 11 a.m., the orthodontist at 2, and a soccer game at 3.30. And it was like, I, I can't squeeze a client in there in person, but you can virtually. And um, here is the other thing. Uh, in this past year and a half, we've got, we went to visit my in-laws in Florida. I just, I just posted about how this past weekend we were on, um, a friend's boat Friday and Saturday. I still was serving clients. I still was answering questions, you know, baby, um, babies come when they come. So, you know, even back before I started doing this, you know, if a baby was born, you know, if parents had questions on the weekends, I was always like, I don't work on the weekends. You know, I'm not coming to your house, but I would answer text messages. But same now, if you're doing, if you're offering virtual packages, you can do that from anywhere. I was literally on a boat talking a mom through the first, you know, uh, tricky latch. <laughs> we did a FaceTime. It, you know, I spent 15 minutes chatting with her and it was just so, and then the week we went to Florida, we were at my in-laws house. You know, if you have Wi-Fi, you if, or if you have a phone signal, you can continue to serve. And this, so obviously it didn't work the whole week while I was in Florida, but I, I worked a little bit. I earned a little bit of my income while I was gone. And I had um, continuity of care with my clients. Previously, before that, this, you know, vacations, used to totally kind of rock my world. Like, first of all, if I took a vacation, um, I, you know, that was a week, I literally earned zero income. You know, you're your own boss. You don't have paid time off. Um, but also as a postpartum doula, it always tended to mess me up because if someone was due, the week before my vacation, they'd be like, oh, I don't know if I want to risk you being gone, you know, right when the baby comes. So I, I would always lose a little business on the front end of a vacation and on the back end of a vacation. Even a week vacation turned into kind of losing income for two to three weeks. Now, um, that doesn't have to be the case. Again, you can do some sort of hybrid option where or and or all virtual where you're still continuing to serve your clients even when you're out of town um and this is just so awesome because especially when you have a client dealing with an issue like a breastfeeding issue or the, you know they're scared about something going on with the baby that's non-medical, blah, 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 blah. You know, you can take 15 minutes of time and really have a huge impact on their postpartum experience. Whereas before it used to be like, oh, okay, there's an issue. Yep, I'm coming. I'd have to go shower, get, you know, put on, find a clean outfit to wear, drive over there, make sure there was gas in the car, pay the tolls. <laughs> You know, go do a four hour shift. I always, for in-person work, I have a four hour shift minimum to make it worth it for myself, that prep, that, you know, the prep to get over there, the driving, the tolls, the gas, um, you know, so that, which I love doing. I, I'm, I'm starting to sound like I don't love doing it. I do love doing it, but I'm just saying the benefits of having virtual support where you're, you know, maybe you're just texting back and forth for a little bit. You are really offering great support to these families who need it. So I know a lot of you guys are asking about pricing and what do you charge? I mean, again, that totally depends on your area. But, haha, virtual um, support, another benefit and why you need to be offering it is you can offer it anywhere. So another thing I used, that used to bug me is um, I'd be working with a client, she loved me, she was like, oh my God, you're a lifesaver, I wish I could just bottle you up and send you to my friend five states away. And I'd be like, I know, I wish you could too. Now, now you can. So I get so many clients from um, previous clients, clients I'm working with now who have babies, you know, their friends from college that are spread out everywhere. 
it's like this instant network of other clients. So I, for pricing and creating packages, I have a whole class on how to do this, how to take your postpartum doula um, business virtual. Um, that I cover how to set up pricing, how to figure that out, uh, tons of ideas for how to set up packages, you know, whether it's Zoom, text, what you, you know, what you include in that, um, how to promote your virtual services, and then even a bonus module with 10 tips on doing like a holiday promotion. So in the, in the module, I'm talking about Mother's Day, because this is from back then, but you could just take all the tips and use it for Labor Day coming up or a Veterans Day special or a Friday special. It doesn't matter what you call the special, but there's a bonus module, some more marketing tips. And you guys that are here watching today, you can save $20. It's only $97 for this class. Save $20 with coupon code uh, VIDEO20. So all one word, save $20. I'm gonna type it. Uh, with coupon code video 20 um, and that's good for the next 48 hours so ev I've gotten so many messages from people who've taken the class and they're like this is awesome it paid for itself in no time I got three new clients um, you know that paid so for $77 you guys can have the class on how to take your postpartum doula business virtual um, do you do a drop-in time for your clients, like a Zoom room open for a few hours here and there for anybody? I don't personally do it that, but that is one of the package ideas, like just show up um, and it's like a drop-in mom's group. Like that's such a great thing to add into your virtual support, Betsy. I love that idea. Um, so, so other questions have come in and came in previously from Erica and a couple other people as, have asked this about how to make the service valuable, valuable enough that the clients, you know, appreciate it and want to pay for it and how do you make moms feel special. So I started to say, you know, my experience with the clients I had been working with, they, they loved it. I mean, if you, you know, if you're like me, you think of our postpartum doula work as, you know, making mom a sandwich, bringing her a glass of water, holding the baby so she can nap, get, you know, have, she wakes up to a clean kitchen because you emptied the dishwasher and stuff. And that is such a big part of what we do. But what, and what we tend to, even that I find doulas struggle with this, those times when we're just sitting there chatting with moms, um, you know, not really doing anything. We're just talking and, you know, you feel like, oh God, she's not going to want to pay $45 an hour for this. Uh, you know, we're just chatting. That is so valuable. Think, if you've had your own kids, think back to that time when you are brand new, you have this baby that you're in charge of, you have so many questions. So, so, so many questions questions. You need someone to validate the feelings and the thoughts that are running through your head. You need someone to listen. You need someone to um, talk through everything. And, you know, now there's this whole layer of stress and anxiety of having a baby during a pandemic. You know, just talking about that. Um, <laughs> yes, Cassie says, oh my God, yes, my client talked to me for three hours. It's valuable otherwise they're home alone <laughs> um you know i mean some people don't like that but clients who need to talk and most new moms need that reflective listening that we provide as postpartum doulas so that is something that you can do virtually very effectively um, yes, talking through a traumatic birth. You can listen to birth stories. You can validate feelings. You can still talk through um, what's going on with their partners, what's going on with the in-laws that want to come visit. You know, you can talk, answer all their questions about newborn care, answer all their feeding questions. You, there is so much to discuss and there's you know, now with COVID, you know, before as doulas, we were always very cognizant of the um, 
well, you had a traumatic birth, but you know everybody out in the real world is like, oh, but at least the baby's healthy. That's happening. And then another layer of that is everybody's like, oh, well, yeah, you had a baby during COVID and sorry, yeah, your partner couldn't go to any of your ultrasounds and nobody can come visit you and, you know, but at least your baby's healthy. At least you don't have COVID. Like, are you guys seeing that with your clients that it's like another level of like, well, don't complain about having a baby in a pandemic because at least your baby didn't get COVID. Like, um, um. Yeah, and I'm sorry, the questions are coming in so fast. Thank you, Betsy, for answering them. Um, I will try, I will prom I promise to go back. Um, yes, talking to them about setting boundaries, um, all that. So those are the kinds of things that you can offer with po virtual postpartum doula support that is so valuable. And another little thing that I have loved doing is training the partner or, you know, whoever's, whoever is in the home training them to be the postpartum doula. And I joke about it, I'm like, okay, uh, dad, okay, grandma, like I'm gonna just boss you around and have you be the postpartum doula. Can you go get mom a glass of water? Mom, have you had lunch yet? Like, oh, uh, or, you know, or while we talk, is there a list that your mother-in-law could go out to the store for? Do you need diapers? <laughs> you know, so uh, uh, jo all joking aside, like you just train the other people as you kind of do when you're there in person, you can do that virtually. Model to whoever is there caring for mom to mother the mother. So asking them to get her water, asking them, you know, um, modeling how we you know how was last night at talking through sleep oh my god talk some moms can talk for hours about their sleep deprivation and what they're experiencing <laughs> so um listening don't underestimate the value of being a good listener as a postpartum doula whether you're in person or virtual and just kind of ramp that up um on your virtual sessions so let's see. Um, okay, I talked about that. I talked about that. And yes, so the more affordable options. So, you know, I was talking about how virtual support can be a great, more affordable option to other people that previously wouldn't have been able to afford in person su support. Um, that's, you know, this is a way to give that chunk of juiciness that we offer as postpartum doulas to everyone you know practically everyone you know you can provide that you know a 30 minute listening session to a new mom who needs it so again these you know i always say postpartum the postpartum situation in the u.s was abysmal before covid now it's even worse you know what few breastfeeding support groups and new parent support groups and mommy and me yoga classes there were before they're not really happening and I, as winter comes i can i see the ones that are happening are probably going to get canceled i don't mean to be negative but i'm just being realistic so you know and even uh, oh this hasn't been happening lately but at first when like two week checkups were telehealth visits, you know, and um, and it was kind of, uh, again, this isn't happening so much anymore, but at first it was like the, the providers were just like, oh my God, okay, you don't have a fever, the baby's, you know, seems to be doing well. Like they weren't even like having the, weighing the baby visits. Um, anyway, my point is, postpartum is even worse now in a pandemic you know um you know maybe if they are going for their all their in-person follow-up visits you know you're not having visitors the way that you did before covid you know um and in some ways that's awesome but in other ways you know a neighbor stopping by um who's you know, bringing you muffins or lasagna, like you had a 10 minute conversation, you know, they came in, you maybe gave them a glass of lemonade, like, 
you had like a 15 minute conversation and th those kind of things just are not happening now as much uh, with um, COVID. So having, for these moms to have a chance to know they're checking in with you a certain amount of time, number of times a week, um, and that, you know, they have your support, that they can talk through uh, questions with you is so great. So I see, um, and then one more thing I wanna say about back to kind of training everybody else in the house to mother the mother, like this is, what another benefit that I saw to this was you know, before I tended to, in my in-person visits, it'd be like, okay, you know, dad, I'm here. Why don't you go run and get groceries? You go, or you go to the gym, you know, you go do your thing. I got mom and the baby and, you know, mom and I would talk and do all this stuff. Um, with virtual support, it was more like, okay, dad, um, she hasn't, had, you know, it's two o'clock. She hasn't had lunch. Do you mind just making her a sandwich and make sure her water bottle's full? And like, it was more, or they'd sit in and talk too. Like I had so much more interactions with dads and partners during COVID with virtual support than I ever have before. And it was awesome. And I have to think this is, has lifelong consequences for these couples. Like having a partner that's more involved and more like getting keyed in and tuned in to mom's needs um, is just amazing. So um, that has been just another great thing about this. So. I hope this has given you some ideas and given you um, ways to, reasons to think of why you need to add virtual postpartum doula support to your services for this fall and winter and beyond. Um, it's such a great um, tool. It's such a great way to continue to earn income serve the families in your area and around the world, um, you know, during this time. And it doesn't have to be complicated. So take the class um, and I talk you through all the different virtual setups that you can use, but it can be as easy as just FaceTime on your uh, phone. Video 20 to save. Um, but this, the class, it's self-paced, it's online, it's all recordings, you just watch as needed. It, it won't even take you that time to get through all the modules, but there's a module on how to set up your pricing, how to figure out what to charge versus what you're offering, how to set up packages. Again, I gave you all sorts of ideas on ways that you can structure it. Um, depending on you know, your life situation um, or you know, what you've got going on and then how to promote it, how to get the word out that, that this is a service that you are offering, and then the bonus module on promoting you know, a special for Labor Day. Um, so lots of, uh, you know me, there's lots of marketing ideas in there for you, and then also just the nitty gritty on how to set it up and how to actually structure, what to say, what to ask, um, what to go, you know, go through on each session, um, and then, you know, how to set up the technology. So hopefully that will help you. Um, like I said, oh, um, this has been great. I have, I was the biggest non-believer in <laughs> offering virtual support and uh, I came to really love it. And I came to kind of, you know, when I did go back to in-person support, I was like, man, like I have to shower now. <laughs> um, it was nice to just be able to like get up, get the kids settled and throw on a clean shirt, brush my hair and get to work, you know. Um, so I'm just kidding. It, I love being back to work in person, but having this hybrid model is fantastic. I have, I am able to help more families than ever. So it has been great. So I would love to um, hear how it's going for you. 
definitely check out the class it is a great value tiffany you're right um it's only so with this coupon code video 20 you save 20 dollars. you get it for 77 dollars. you pay for itself it pays for itself with the first client that you book um and then you're set up to serve even um for longer and then the um the net so yes janet i talk about the fees all in that class um, yeah, the, the answer is you can do whatever you want, really, but uh, I, I dive into it a little bit deeper in the class. Um, oh, I was going to say then the next level of this is once you get comfortable with this, it's like then you can start recording classes that you sell um, to these two clients as well. That's kind of the next to level 2.0 of virtual postpartum doula support. So I hope this has been helpful. I love doing these Facebook Lives. Um, thank you all so much for taking the time to join me. This has been fun. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have a great night.